Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Each and Every Effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today I am going to show you how you can use simple notch filter in Adobe Premiere Pro and what does this filter actually do. So to demonstrate it, I have to go to in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already opened a previously project that I have worked on. So to apply any effect, you need to go to window and then make sure you have just click on this effects panel. Then it will show this panel. So under this panel, you'll see audio effects and under the audio effects, there will be a folder called filter and EQ. Under this filter and EQ filter, you'll see this one, which is simple notch filter. So if I just click and drag this filter here on top of my audio, it will be applied and you'll, you can change anything of this effect from the effects control panel. So go to effects control panel. If you don't see, always go to windows and then enable effects controls and there if you scroll down the, you will see this effect that we have applied which is simple notch filter so what does this notch filter actually do if i just play it back and how premiere pro handles and then if i decrease the q value them and then if i change this cut off frequency maybe i can just place here 200 so that is my cutoff frequency now if i play it back difference and how premiere pro handle you can see the audio is sounding very teeny so what does this effects actually doing to see that we can use another effect which is parametric equalizer because this effect will visually show you how does this simple notch filter works actually so if i just click and drag this parametric equalizer i can go to this visual editor just by clicking here on this edit section and there if i just down any one from the gain section and then here you can see the cube width so i can just change the width so what does this notch filter actually doing so if i increase the q value here on this notch filter it will decrease the notch bandwidth the frequency bandwidth right so if i show you here using the parametric equalizer if i increase the q value the same thing here so if i increase it you can see the notch frequency parameter is getting very narrower so it will affect less of my sound right so same thing will be applied here if i just delete this one and then if i increase the q value and then if i play it back how premiere pro handles them you can see there isn't any effect going on it is not affecting my audio right but if i decrease the q value and how premiere pro handles it is making the audio very muddier because we have set the cutoff frequency to 990 right so similar thing if i show you using the parametric equalizer if i click and drag it here and there go to edit just click and drag any section then i can just increase the q value the width and then if i change the frequency you can see the notch position is changing right so if i just place this notch here on this 200 mark it is making a notch in the 200 mark so it is just cutting up that frequency right so i can just increase the width it will effect less of that frequency if i just increase it a lot it will just affect that 200 hertz frequency but if i decrease that value maybe it will affect from 150 to 250 mark right the less of the q value it will attack more of our audio frequency the more of the q value it will attack less of our audio frequency so that's the simple thing so in practical how you can use that notch filter suppose you want to decrease the frequency response of a certain frequency of your voice over right suppose the um, frequency of your voice from 200 to 300 mark is sounding a little bit harsh you want to decrease that sound what you can do you can just go here and click and drag this simple notch filter on top of your audio then go here just type the frequency for this purpose i will use 200 and there you can change the q width right you can just click on this arrow and then there will be slider you can change the value of the width if i played back, a difference and how premiere pro handles so 
here is the viewer then gamma difference and how prim and here is the primer pro handles them can so it is cutting up uh, the frequency from 200 frequency mark right so that is the job of simple notch filter personally i would not use simple notch filter for my project i would love to use the parametric equalizer and i can make a notch from here so if i apply that and then if i go to edit there i can visually see what that notch is doing i can manually change whatever i want so if i want to use a notch then i can use the parametric equalizer so that's all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye